CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. We're selling a subscription where people will come and pick up vegetables every week. It's just much more personal for us because we know who is going to be getting our stuff. We're not a corporation that has 100 employees. We're actually thinking about the 100 families that we're feeding and what are they going to like and what are they going to want to eat and what are we going to be able to turn them on to that they've never had before. Thank you. Yep. Have a nice day. Have a good week. Take care. I didn't want to go to the grocery store and buy organic. I just wanted to get from a farmer and support a local farmer too. It really feels like we've built up a community like right here within 10 miles of the farm where there really wasn't anything before. I mean, after, after 14 years, we have a lot of families that we just feel like are part of our whole farm family. People don't realize that there's still farms this close to the city. Seattle people, they don't realize that we're only half an hour away. People can walk around and look at all the animals. Some people just like to watch things growing, and so I see them out there looking at things. For me, it's important to eat stuff that I know where it came from, that people grew it with love. You come to the farm and they're working long hours to feed me. You know, I, I can appreciate that. It is important that people start thinking about where their food is coming from. Because ultimately, the food system as we know it is not sustainable. And it just makes so much more sense to get as much food as possible from within 20 or 30 miles of your home. We don't use chemicals, but really, in my mind, organic is much deeper than whether or not you use chemicals. It's also about pulling your community in, keeping your farm workers happy, and treating them well, and treating your livestock well, treating your farm as an ecosystem, and something that you anticipate being around for generations. So like the potatoes say to take two pounds for a large share? So the most helpful for us is when people pay their entire share bill by mid-February. We start planting in the greenhouse in March, which means that we have to have all of our seed and all of our supplies, equipment repairs, all of that stuff needs to be done before March. So if you pay for the full year in advance, then you save quite a bit you're gonna get more than you would be able to get for that exact amount in the grocery store. It's worth it, because you don't have to spend that money again throughout the year. We're pretty flexible. We take whatever payment arrangements need to be made. I mean, I realize not everybody has a chunk of money to put down. <laughs> I don't expect that of anybody. We actually get a lot of people who participate because of the youth pick. They can come and pick as much as they want for no additional cost. The cut flower garden is hugely popular. People, they like the vegetables, but what they really like to do is come and get their flower bouquet every week. My favorite thing about the CSA is you pick stuff because to me that means I can stock up and fill my freezer. So now I've got pounds and pounds and pounds of all of this free vegetables that I got from the UPIC section. Definitely the people that pick up here are the ones that get more of a sense of what the farm is about. It's, it's just an entirely different mindset. It's not a vegetable factory. It's a family who loves food and feeding people and trying to make them happy. For me and my family, it's back to the local farms. It's back to supporting our community. It's important to us to be dealing with the people who are actually going to eat our food. The same food that we feed our own family. 